Hey YouTubers, Chris Willis here from Notes for the Vagabond. Today I'm making a little video about this bike rack I made. I made it just for one bike. Uh, most 90% of my riding, I just go meet people at the trailhead, so I just got to bring my one bike around with me. Um, if I go with two or three people, I got a truck and I can throw it in there. Someday I might make a rack like this for just two bikes. But uh, for now I came up with this. I think it came worked out really well. Um, it's real stable in here. I've taken it on a lot of trips and it's just rock solid and it just suits my needs really well. So the first thing is it, it has this lock that locks to the, the actual hitch. So um, it's, it's pretty secure. So, you know, it's locked to the actual e-trailer hitch. This hitch is an uh, inch and a quarter. Uh, I bought that off of uh, some website. Yeah, it works really well. But first thing about this I want to say is uh, it, it can fold down real quick so I can get in the car. So I'll show you. I just got to clip this like that. Open that. This folds down like that. The bike sits there. And I'm able to open this up and get my stuff. Boogie board and everything. Um, put it back on just like this. Slide this there, wiggle it a little bit, and then that clips like that, and I'm ready to drive away. Now I take the bike off, all I gotta do is a piece of Romex, just undo that there, grab it here, grab it here, come here, and lift it off, and the bike is off. Load it, all I gotta do, come here, drop it in, just like that, take this, I like to have it to the side a little bit, give it a couple twists, and it's on. So it's real easy to load on and off. Uh, that's what I really like about it. Other thing is, uh, when I want to, when I don't want to use the rack, I can I take this bike off, put the bike down over here, and now. But now, if I don't want to, so. If I don't want to drive around with this thing sticking up all the time, all I got to do is come here, <coughs> undo this here, like so, take this bolt out like so, uh, take this out, and then this comes off, comes off just like that there. I can put that away, and then I got this little cap I made. Uh, I can just take this, stick it on there like that, so I can drive around like that. Now if I want the whole hitch gone, all I gotta do is take a, like a 17 millimeter wrench and undo one bolt in here and that comes off. But during riding season, I like to just drive around with it like this. Another thing I want to say about this rack and kind of why I made it this way is it doesn't stick out beyond the car. Like if I did it like most racks that have your bike going this way, it sticks out a little bit. Sometimes they block the signals. This one, you see the signals perfect. Uh, a little blockage of the license plate, but I'm not too concerned about that. And I just like how solid it is. I mean, it's just uh, when I drive, you know, it doesn't bounce around or anything. It just sits in there. It's tight, real easy on and off. So here's a little video on assembling it. Let's take the cap off. Come here. Here. There. Put that on there. Do the top one first. And then just come in, put this here. On the end. Here like so. Tighten that up. So this is real solid. Come grab the bike. You always got to load from the same way. So I grab it here and here. And I come in here. Drop it right on in. Tie this up. And up. I like to have it tied just like that. So here's just some uh, close-up shots. Uh, the top here, I made, I, I used rebar and some inch and 
eighth inch tubing. Uh, you know, I tried different designs on this, tweaking it this way and that way. I found straight up or nearly straight was about the best. Down here is, uh, you know, I just use, I came up, uh, Romax seems to tighten, tie, tie it the easiest. This is a little, this, this part down here was actually out of a different uh, <coughs> uh, bike rack. So I just cut that off and, and I made it from here up. But this piece would be real easy to make. Uh, down there, we can see is the one bolt uh, that I just have to unloosen if I want to pull it all the way out. So, uh, pretty, pretty simple. I mean, it took me a long time to, to do this. I mean, probably a day and a half uh, just because of, you know, trial and error and some failures and how to make it strong. But uh, so I went with the rebar and then I got this rebar wrapped with some um, plastic tubing. So it doesn't, doesn't, nothing gets damaged on the bike. Uh, so that's about all there is to it. Um, you know, I make a lot of different things, a lot of things fail. I think this was a real success. It's almost something I'm thinking about, you know, maybe making and trying to sell. Probably won't get that ambitious, but. And like I said, someday I might make a dually. I could uh, make a dually probably pretty easy, <coughs> uh, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So that's about it. Uh, you know, like if you like this movie, found it useful, anything like that, <coughs> give it a thumbs up. Um, share this video with other people. Leave a comment, you know, I really like hearing from people. Um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you want to contact me directly, there's a link, there should be a link below to my website. You can go there, click on contact, it'll take you to discuss, and you can email me a question directly. Um, there, there might be a link or two below uh, to link to Amazon to buy something, some bike stuff, or maybe other racks, I don't know. Uh, but that's always helpful. That helps support this channel. Anyway, really appreciate you watching. Cheers. Have a great day. Bye now.